I felt the lump myself. I don't know how or why I felt it. I, I can't say with certainty that I ever gave myself regular self breast exams, but I did feel it and it felt different. Hi, I'm Cambry Cruz. I'm 46 years old and I live in Astoria, Queens with my husband, comedian Christian Finnegan, and I now have breast cancer. I was in the basement of my theater um, stocking and uh, taking inventory for a beer order. So I was like in this danky, dark basement. I get this very important phone call. Uh, it says, sorry, uh, it's positive for breast cancer. But um, the crazy thing is I had to go upstairs and welcome all these open mic comedians, which not the thing I wanted to do within minutes of finding out I had breast cancer. Hi, how is everybody doing tonight? The initial reaction that I was getting, that I had was of just fear and, oh, I'm, I guess I, my husband can start that Tinder account he always wanted. <laughs> when Cambry first gave me the news, uh, it's hard to explain the feeling you have. It's almost like when you go over the top of a roller coaster and you feel your stomach just kind of hit the top of your lungs and <laughs> slam back down, uh, you know, just the words, breast cancer. My first thought, I'm sure most everyone's first thought is, I'm gonna die, I guess I gotta, you know, sign over my life insurance, and who's gonna take care of my dogs? I, I had all those, like, morbid mortality thoughts. You can't help but have that feeling of, oh God, we're at the beginning of something awful, potentially. But of course, you know, you can't show that. My husband and I made a little video because we wanted to tell our friends and family, but they are all scattered all over the country. This is a personal update from us uh, that October, being Breast Cancer Awareness Month, I, Cambry, wanted to make you aware that I have breast cancer. And by making this video, I started getting a lot of private messages from people thanking me um, that they had had it too. They uh, were so sorry that, they were, that I was going through this, but also here's what I had gone through, and I was shocked to hear. And a couple of people who were afraid to tell people and they were like, thank you for doing this. It made me feel like I can share my story now. And so that's that's been a nice, unexpected bonus. Given the size of the tumor or what we think is the size of the tumor um, and the location, we're gonna opt for lumpectomy to try to conserve as much tissue as possible. It might end up that I have to have a mastectomy anyway later, especially if it has spread to lymph nodes and stuff, but at least I have tried to conserve as much in the beginning and I'll have a faster recovery. Hey, it's Cambry. Uh, so it's the night before my surgery. It doesn't really feel real yet until I actually uh, have this tumor out of me. Um, yeah, so it's kind of like, yeah, let's get this thing out so I can get on with it. Talking is, I feel vital to this whole thing. That's why I'm sharing with you right now. Through talking comes healing. The truth will set you free. It's a cliche for a reason. It's really true. It's really true. So I do think it's important for us to talk about things that are affecting us. And breast cancer affects a lot of people, men and women. A bunch of people are kind of surprised at how well I'm taking it. I'm like, well, what else is there to do? I mean. I'm not going to crawl up in a ball and cry and be depressed and um, I, the bills still have to be paid, uh, the theater still has to be run, I still have two dogs that need to be walked and fed and a husband who cares about me, you know, and I don't want to die. Let's do what I need to do to not die. How's that? <laughs> Let's start with that.